don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. I had to start this video on a good note. That was the Jama squad there, Lara, by organizing the Black Stars Jama squad. You saw in the intro of the video, as usual, I'm your host, last year. Yesterday, the Black Stars finally took to the field, and unfortunately for us, we couldn't get a three point we wanted. We had to settle for a draw after a really, really silly red card on the part of John Boy. Today, we'll be hearing from Jordan Ayu and coach Kwesia Pia. They had a post match press conference and Jordan Ayu had mixed feelings about getting the man of the match performance despite not winning the game. He felt we deserve to win the game and truly I have to agree with him. We'll talk about some of the few changes and tactical changes with Kwesia Pia made and how it positively or even if it did affect impact the game at all. As usual, I'm your host last year. We work on back to the channel so let's jump right into it yesterday the black stars took on the squirrels of benin in their first game of the afcon 2019 now the black stars were playing after the cameroonian side who are also in their group beat guinea bissau 2 nil to top the group ghana needed three points to be in contention to move to the next round despite it being just the first game because our next game is with cameroon and they won't be an easy side to face. So the game started a really, really sloppy, sloppy decision by John Boy to move out of position and he was caught out and Benin made Ghana pay as early as the second minute. We, we were behind already and already chasing the game and if you're watching my live stream, you'd have seen how disappointed I was by that. No one, I didn't see that coming at all. So the Black Stars rallied got into the game once again and came back andre ayu with the goal and assist from his brother jordan ayu brought us back into the game the black stars then in the 44th minute a beautiful pass from andre ayu to his brother once again returning the favor and a beautiful 10 almost a pirouette by jordan ayu and a shot thunderous one at that into the top of the net the roof of the net and it was 2-1 to the Black Stars. The first half ended and it was quite okay for us then. We are back in the game, we are leading and we just needed to add more goals to cement our three points. Unfortunately, John Boy, a player who had already gotten a yellow card in the first half for a clumsy tackle on the Benin player, was severely warned, warned several times by the referee for time wasting as early as the 50th minute he was attempting to waste time I, I don't know where he gets that idea from but john boy was given his second yellow card and subsequently his marching orders and he had to leave the field of play a player of so much experience a player of the season for Mets in france i don't know why he comes up doing it hey but hey even the best of us get it wrong even the best of us make mistakes so many times but he just knows how to play into the hands of his critics a lot of people already don't like the guy and he is doing stuff like this that will make him so so unpopular he will miss the next game i think and i think deservedly so honestly people didn't want him to start and he he didn't help matters by that decision 53rd minute what were you wasting the time for so the black stars played a majority of the second half with 10 men and playing with a numerical disadvantage can really be an issue for you as a team I, unfortunately we couldn't hold on couldn't hold out for the win we conceded a goal from a corner a deflection that changed the direction of the ball from a shot outside the box from Benin made it 2-2 however Black Stars made a few changes later on Samuel Lewis was one of the surprise changes I saw being made he was brought in the first half for Thomas Japan who quite clearly was struggling in the game didn't see the game out in the first half at least he was brought on Thomas Japan was brought out and Samuel Lewis was brought on when the red card came Coach Kwesiapia mysteriously decided to break off Samolusu once again and bring in Jonathan Mensah. I understand Jonathan Mensah's substitution, but Christian Achu was not having his best game. He was not having a great game. Why didn't you bring Christian Achu out rather? Hey, 
it's all hindsight and i think it was quite clear christian Achu was struggling in this game and he was supposed to be substituted he wasn't samuel Lewis was rather substituted once again and jonathan mensa brought some stability to the back line so that is how it ended for the black stars they held on 2-2 against the scorers of benin benin excited about the draw and i think overall the team did well if not for that red card we would have won the game the referee could have decided to let that his second yellow card go but after several warnings to the player john boy he decided that enough was enough and gave him a second yellow card i understand him on that and and it, it, it's quite his fault he will not play the next game i think jonathan mensa should fit in nicely at the back my only problem was the back line the back line did not do well at all they were really really shaky at times anytime benin had the ball and were on the counter we were in loads and loads of trouble and we couldn't handle that benin and that Benin attack the back line was really really shaky for the black stars and Jordan are you have to say kudos kudos to him I, I really really doubted his prowess heading into the tournament I didn't think he should be in the squad most of us didn't think he should be in the squad but first game and he's one of the match a beautiful goal a turn and a shot and I, I, I really have to say I'm, I'm, I'm happily surprised by the performance of Jordan Ayu and his brother Andre Ayu, who also did really great getting the team back into the game. Unfortunately, we could not win. And the thoughts of Coach Kwesi Apia said here, he said it was a good game. We didn't concentrate in the first half. In the second half, it was hard to play with 10 players. A draw is reasonable. I didn't lose hope in my team and wait for us in the next game. Jordan Ayu also spoke, the man of the match. We'll have a listen to him. He's by this is a snippet of what he said i have mixed emotions about the man of the match accolade because we didn't win we believe in ourselves and we are under no pressure we are preparing for the next game and that is the press conference the coach of benin also say we had a great game and i'm proud of the team we are still at the beginning and we'll give it our all to qualify i'm happy with the draw but we could have one yes that's the thoughts of snippets of some of the thoughts of and the coaches and the players there we'll have a listen to the thoughts of jordan are you after the game being awarded the man of the match and also we'll have a listen to jonathan mensa the defender let's go have a listen to both players we'll be right back i think i think we deserve to win after we got the red card okay it's part of the game but most important thing, we have to congratulate the guys because 10 against 11, we managed to, to get a draw. So we have two more games. So yeah, if we continue like this, we need to work hard and I have total confidence in, in the boys and we show the good fighting spirit. So it's positive for the, for the, for the next game. So I think we did a, a good game and yeah, it's part of the game, but we have still have two matches to go. All the games are all the games are difficult, you know. But um, it's a difficult team, Cameroon. We two are Ghana, so we are going to do uh, our possible best to get a good result. And after winner takes all, we'll see. And then uh, um, focus on the next game. Did they red card the start up first? It did, because you know playing. Um, uh, a man down is always difficult so you know we will uh, make sure you know we get it right next time uh, Jordan are you there not so excited about the the results of the game he feels we could have won it but it's all dead and gone we have to move on and prepare for Cameroon on Saturday Cameroon our next opponent on Saturday it's not going to be an easy easy fixture I think a lot of changes need to be done at the back defensively is where our problem is imagine we were all worrying about goals in the friendlies after keeping two clean sheets in the friendlies and the problem was the defense yes it was a defense we didn't see that coming we thought we were okay defensively but coach Chris Apia really needs to to work on that back line I feel Barbara man should come in for Lumuak Bengen he was clearly struggling on that left flank and Jonathan Mensah will come in for John Boy who really really deserved 
a one out of ten rating or a zero out of ten rating for that stupid stupid decision to decide to waste time at 53 minutes let me know your thoughts about the game in the comments box guys let me know your thoughts about john john boy's st stupid decision to decide to waste time at that time 53 minutes what are you wasting time for over 40 minutes left and you think that's the best time to waste time and any yellow card that disadvantages your team john boy really really caught me annoyed yesterday night and i think it, it's it's really really bad that the, 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 we had to go a man down and lose all our two points instead of getting the full three points and let me know your thoughts what do you think about the game who do you think was the standout player for me the standout player obviously was john and Ayu, followed quickly by his brother andre are you in the game Ubra Kwakasu was not on top for me christian achu my goodness i was a little bit disappointed by him and i, I didn't expect him to play that badly against benin and also some notable mention thomas in japan clearly could not keep up with the game in the first half and he will not i don't think he will start the next game i think asamoah jan should have a shout in this team in the next game against cameroon um i also think Caleb kuban as well um, in the midfield kojo asamoah as well should be a starter against cameroon and those are my thoughts on the game those are my ratings of the players this is what I think about the game last night. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Ghana versus Cameroon on Saturday. Today, the next round of games begins. Nigeria take on Guinea in their first game. Probably before this video is uploaded, it would have started. And also, Egypt takes the field again. And it's going to be an interesting time to see the host nation in action. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about the game in general? how did you see the stars perform let me know your thoughts in the comments box that has been it for today ghana will face cameroon on saturday in what will be a must a must win encounter a must win encounter for the black stars are you still confident we are bringing it back home let me know your thoughts in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day